Now in this question then we're given that 3 sine squared theta minus 2 cos squared theta is equal to 1 and asked to show that 5 sine squared theta equals 3. So how are we going to do that? Well first of all we've got to try and change this function cos squared theta across to sine squareds and hopefully you would know an identity, a basic identity that is that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1. So rearranging this to making cos squared theta the subject you would therefore have cos squared theta is identical to 1 minus sine squared theta. Now this is an identity that you should learn Possibly you already know it, well that's good, but make sure you learn that, okay? So all we need to do now is just substitute 4 cos squared theta, 1 minus sine squared theta into this equation above here. So therefore what we have, uh, okay, is the first term, 3 sine squared theta, minus 2 multiplied by, well instead of cos squared theta then we have 1 minus sine squared theta, 1 minus sine squared theta, and that is equal to 1. If we expand this bracket out, we will then have minus 2 plus 2 sine squared theta, and that equals 1. Grouping the sine squared terms together, you end up with 5 sine squared theta, and then if I add 2 to both sides, you get 2 and 1, making 3. And that's what we had to show. So hopefully you've been able to follow that, and that brings us to the end of this part.